and we are here to talk about the content queen mastery of seven figures. That is it. How to have the seven figure mindset for content queen mastery. And I'm going to take you guys through this as quickly as I can because like in Tam's world, right after this episode, I have a client call. Brace yourself for this episode because we're going to go through the acronym because I put this together and I was like, this makes sense. Welcome to the queendom. Welcome back to Keys to the Queendom solo episode. I just want to say, yeah, I'm back, bitches. I've had a bit of a break on doing solo episodes. I've really lent into the guest speakers, taking time to one, organize America, two, you know, just being more open to really going really beyond the creativity with my content. So this episode, you guys are going to absolutely love it because it hit me the other day. I was on the toilet as all ideas seem to come with myself and I was like, that's it. I know what I'm doing. And we are here to talk about the content queen mastery of seven figures. That is it. How to have the seven figure mindset for content queen mastery. And I'm going to take you guys through this as quickly as I can because like in Tam's world, right after this episode, I have a client call. So ladies and gents, kings and queens, brace yourself for this episode because we're going to go through the acronym because I put this together and I was like, this makes sense. This is now going from six figures to seven figures with your content. You know how we were kind of like, you know, let's play in the multi six, you know, like dabbling into the, you know, the ideas of being that we're going big with our content and to play big, we need to have the content mastery mindset, which I'm going to take you guys through right now. You girls and boys ready to be seven-figure owners? This is the way you are going to do it. So the acronym begins with content. So the first piece of this is C, and that is collaboration. Funny enough, right? My whole year of 2023 has been all to do with collaborations. I said to you guys, and you know this, this comes up all the time, stretching myself. What does that look like? And if you guys have a small following or if you're new into building a business, your branding and your marketing, and you're like, how do I start being seen? It's all to do with collaborations. But big piece to your content mastery mindset for seven figures, don't just collaborate with everyone because this is where your mindset from six to seven is going to change with your content. You get to be choosy and you need to align yourself with people who are in your world that are aligned with your messaging. So collaborate with people that you see a very similar journey that you're relatable that you connect really well with one that is above you and when I say above is doing better than you and you can start to mold and also support one another when it comes to collaboration look at my podcast look at everything that's happened as of late it has been to because of the collaborations I've been able to receive and so do not be afraid to reach out to the people that you feel called to that you want to align yourself with When it comes to collaboration, always remember that there is a purpose behind it. So be really clear on what you want to collaborate on. Do not go in with the mindset of, I'm just going to wing it. Remember, we're going from six to seven figure mindset with your content mastery. So you need to be prepared, bring something to the table and get really clear on what the result is. Now, the next acronym to that is Queen. How often have you said, I spent my whole life studying, I've been to school my whole life, and I've actually learned nothing that teaches me the tools and strategies to build a successful business in the outside world. You've probably spent thousands of dollars on courses, or you've heard fake news from business gurus. Well, I'm here to give this incredible news to everyone here right now that this is Queen Stream University. Get out of debt and actually start making money in the online space, knowing and having the foundations to build a successful business. Now I'm talking because I have gone through the trenches. I have been a fitness coach, built my online business as a pro athlete, and now I am a business coach. You'll go from having absolutely no idea what your business is through in the eight weeks, learn the foundations of knowing what your purpose is, your vision and mission, 
and also understanding your business values with the execution to know what that business is. You'll also learn branding, social media, content strategy, marketing, and more importantly, how to sell. With Queen Stream University, it'll cut out the bullshit and remove all the fluff and get you working specifically on your business so you can execute this in eight weeks to get ready to learn. I wanted you to have something where you get to access something straight away, where you get to fast track your growth, as well as remove any doubt, any overwhelming sensation or stress, or the question that everyone seems to ask, where do I begin? With Queerstream University, you'll be able to build wealth, freedom, and at the end of the day, be an entrepreneur and be able to say, I have finally built my own thing, my own business, and I've stopped making money for someone else, and I'm now making money for my own empire. Queen Stream University. Now, the next acronym to that is O, opportunity, right? And this is all to do with really seeking forward all the opportunities you want to really create in your branding, in your business, because part of content mastery and that seven-figure mindset is the opportunity of what that's going to give you. So now it's about looking beyond of what you want to do. Don't think small, think big. And so it's a matter of seeking the opportunities that are there for you, in front of you, even if you don't know how that looks like, when that looks like, but it's a matter of really starting to actually put yourself out there. Opportunity equals you leveraging yourself and others around you to open yourself up to opportunities. If something comes your way, that's an opportunity. Don't just block it. Don't just say, I'm not ready. There's so many opportunities in my time where I've just gone, you know what, I'm going to do it. Was I ready for it? Probably not. But it was something that came to me, for me, but which meant an opportunity was about to arise. So make sure you're open to the opportunity. Now, the next part of your content mastery seven-figure mindset is N, and that is all to do with niching down. I want you guys to stop being broad and actually niche down with your content. If you're in the fitness space, don't just promote about weight loss. You know, what's the weight loss journey for? Is it for busy moms? Is it for the CEO hustlers? Are you promoting uh, as a business coach and you want to work with particularly people who are working in the real estate industry? You need to stop being so broad and being in that six-figure mindset and into your content mastery and really getting clear on the niche you want, but more importantly, bringing that niche down. You'll hear it across the board. Alex Hamosi talks about this each and every day. They started doing gym owners like selling, but they've gotten so clear on what it is that they do with when it comes to niching down. They now only work with people who make from $3 million up, right? So that is a massive thing now when it comes to your content mastery is N, niching down. We're going to now take you to the next acronym, which is T, and that is the touch points. So maybe your content had been really focused heavily on one social media platform, maybe two, but we want to now focus on the touch points across the board. And this is how you really build authority. This is how you get to really be seen and heard. You know, six-figure mindset, you maybe just focused on one or two platforms. This is seven figures. So you want to be thinking about how you can be seen, heard, and felt everywhere. This is what I support a lot of my clients with when it comes to brand authority, building their business and brand. You know, how can they be seen across the globe? Not just Australia, not just Queensland, you know, not just one part of the world, everywhere. So start thinking about where else can you be seen and heard? Because it's not a matter of just being on one platform. It's about being across all platforms. And that includes podcasts, which is another massive thing we're going to be supporting our clients with as well when it comes to building your brand. Now, the next acronym is E, and that is the execution, which means really getting really organized when it comes to executing your content strategy and days and planning and mapping (laughs) and what type of content it is. I want you to look at it as it is you making it as the anatomy of your content and really getting clear on the deliverables, the amount, who is it for, the result, the problem you're solving, and how it's relevant to your ideal client. Remember niching down, right? So 
massive thing when it comes to executing for your content mastery. It's just, again, not about promoting your dog or your cat or your beautiful partner, which I do do sometimes. But if your business and your brand is all to do with now getting seen and heard and building engagement, you got to stop doing the dog photos, guys, and really focusing on the execution behind the content that's going to be relevant to your consumers and to your future clients as well. Now, the next acronym is N, and that is network. You are now going to have to become a networking machine. And this is one of my massive strengths, and this is what we educate our queendom clients on, is your network is your net worth. So you, as a content mastery seven-figure mindset, have to now start to think about where can I go to then promote my brand? Who can I be utilizing in terms of leveraging their skill set, their influence, their Instagram, their followers? Networking is the biggest thing that's going to build your brand up. Why do you think I'm going to America? Yeah. So it's a matter of understanding, you know, what are the events across where you are you know what are the people that you can now start to see of your network that you can start leveraging of and it's not about using and manipulation this is what every single content mastery seven figure owner does and you are going to learn to do the same what i would suggest to do is make a list of all the people you look up to find out where they're hanging out find out if they've got events coming up get into their circle get into their proximity IG me, we've got a lot of great networks, by the way, and really start to see and understand to what your purpose is behind the network. I had an amazing phone call with a studio over in America, and he said to me, Tamara, make sure your intention is clear on why you're coming here. So I have been researching the f- out of the people that I'm going to be having on my podcast and how that is going to support my network to support my clients who work with me because anyone that is in Queendom Mastermind gets my network connections. Hey, beautiful kings and queens. Are you right now in a space where you're ready to take action and build your business, yet you struggle where to begin? You're feeling stuck and overwhelmed with all the things you need to do when it comes to building a business. Build the business of your dreams in the online space and be in the arena of all the incredible, great humans out there that are building seven to eight figure businesses. Now, the foundations that I truly believe in that you are going to learn through this membership is sales, marketing, content creation, social media, money mindset, and of course, branding. Now, all of this will be accessible for you to be learning what is currently hot right now in the market and how you can create your own business and build a successful business in the online space. All you have to do right now is DM Empire in my Instagram or email myself and my team and we will get the ball rolling so you can have your empire and start making moves in the online space. Moving on to the next acronym, which is T. So have you all now realized that the acronym is content? And that's testimonials, which is all to do with social proof. The more social proof you have, the more you're going to have people coming to you and go, okay, so why why should I work with you? Why should I believe in you? Why should you be the person that I hire? Ta-da! Here's all my content, social proof of the people that have worked with me and the results that I have given. Because yes, results does sell. Branding and relatable and connection does sell too, but you need to have proof. And if you don't have proof, well, why are people going to work with you? So it's a matter of understanding how you can actually collect more social proof, more testimonials, whether you start doing collaborations around this, asking friends, case studies, do it as a daily thing. My team now are always asking our clients for any type of social proof, any type of testimonial, because one, it's so important so that people can see the results you're providing. And so that is the first part of your acronym, content. Now we're going to go into the acronym of QUEEN. And the Q stands for quality. Quality, quality, quality. I have completely gone so different with my content mastery seven-figure mindset in my social media now as, yes, as I said, I'm across all boards, all the different touch points, which is important, but the quality and the quantity. So quantity meaning I'm now posting three to four times, get ready for this, a day. 
And this is because I really want to be engaging and getting more reach across the globe. You know, 6 a.m. for me is great for people in Sydney, but is it great for people in America or in South America? You know, and this is why I really focused on the type of content quality and quantity, so the amount, based on the timeframes around the world. And I'm doing different types of content four times a day, video, inspirational, educational, quotes, and then my podcast. So that's, I guess, five. And we're making it work. And this is why it's so important when you work with myself in Queendom, we support you with the quality and the quantity amount of your content. And so the next part of the acronym of Queen is you, which is your unique self, your personality. Now, you know me, I say this all the time, I'm not normal, but whoever is, then great, I'd like to meet you. But this is where we really focus that your content isn't like everyone else. I'm so sick and tired of seeing such similar content from every single coach and you can tell where it started from. They have the same mentor or the other person has worked with that mentor, which has worked with that mentor, which has worked with that mentor. And it's like, it's the same thing over and over again. You know, are you even you and your content? So your unique self is massive with your content mastery. Enough with the six-figure bullshit. Enough with pretending you are someone else. Be you. Stop being like everyone else. It's so obvious. What I would suggest to any of my clients, or if you work with me closely about this, is really finding your brand voice, your personality, your unique attribute. And that is what's going to set you apart from six to seven figure mastery in your content. Now, the next bit of the content queen acronym, which is E, is examine. And that is all to do with research. That is all to do with looking at the people you aspire by not to copy, not to do the same thing, but examine what's out there in the market, what is getting really popular, what is trending, what do we need to do to adapt and pivot. This is all to do with the research. Examine everything across across the globe and start to pick and choose what you feel really called to do around your content mastery. You know, you may not want to do quotes like myself or educational podcast videos, which to be honest, I'm going to recommend anyway. But examine and research and do the work so that you are ahead of the game and you're adapting and pivoting the more, the more, the more, the more new things come at play. AI, trends, anything like that. There's threads now. So really be open to examining everything out there and see what works for you, not for every Tom, Dick and Harry. Remember, content mastery is all to do with what is working for you, for you and your unique self. Now, the next E in Queen acronym is eliminate, eliminate confusion. And this is, again, coming back to your content mastery. When we first started doing content as a six-figure owner versus seven-figure mastery in your content, basically, it was just a matter of getting stuff out there and getting it all done and, you know, putting all this information out there and realizing that right now we really want to simplify everything. We want to make everything more effective and eliminate confusion from your consumers and from your future ideal clients. So looking across the board of your content, does it make sense? Are people understanding what you're talking about? Are they sharing your content? Are they resonating with it, your content? Are they communicating about your content? Are they agreeing with what you're saying? Or is it a bit of controversy, which is not a bad thing? But if it's confusing, then no one's going to buy from you because they just think that you're all, all over the place. Eliminate confusion from your followers, consumers, future clients, and get really clear on your messaging. Because again, when you want to build content mastery rather than content strategy and just being like everyone else, you're just going to sound like everyone else and you're going to create more confusion because there's so much noise out there. The last acronym, which is N. And that is, again, a massive one, and that is never get complacent. Never give up, never stop. And I mean that because, again, every single day, my job as a content strategist, as a brand strategist, as a business mentor, as a speaker, what can I do more to really, one, get my messaging out there to make it more digestible, understandable, create connection, give value, build relationship? Because at the end of the day, It's not about just making money. It's about making an impact, you know, really here to serve. And if we get complacent, then we're not really living the dream of an entrepreneur. 
because we were always here to create momentum and show people that there is a better way of living life. And so N is never get complacent, never stop. And so I hope you have enjoyed this solar episode. This is so juicy. There is so much of this that we go so deeper in, in Queendom Mastermind. I'm taking on more people for this. We're going on a huge new level. We're really prioritizing brand authority, podcast support, content strategy. We really want you guys to get at, be a gun at selling. And but more importantly, finding your voice. I'm your host, Tamara Maya, Queen Tamara Maya. And I hope to see you on the next week's episode again. I love you all. Mwah.